This is The Cube, live from the Moscone Center in San Francisco. This is SiliconANGLE's continuous coverage of VMworld 2010. Now, inside The Cube. We're back at uh, San Francisco, live, VMworld 2010. This is SiliconANGLE's continuous coverage. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE with Dave Vellante, co-founder of wikibon.org, research firm covering all the angles here at VMworld and virtualization cloud, the cloud revolution. Um, and you can't talk about a revolution without talking about universities. So we got USC here, uh, Frank, how do you say that? Mucio. Mucio, okay. Uh, good, good paisan, so, John. So, so, you know, university, we had Carnegie Mellon on here, a little bit of an East Coast geek. You know, you got West Coast uh, geek stuff going on, USC, of course, big sports school. Um, so Great wel school. welcome yeah. to theCUBE where we're, uh, acquiring a lot of knowledge here on the ground, on the ground floor here at VMworld. So uh, thanks for joining. Oh, thank you. So tell us about uh, USC's known, obviously, Pac-10 uh, school. Uh, technology that you're using with virtualization, talk about that because you know, here we're looking for proof points. Customers talking about their, their, the technologies that they're buying, deploying. Talk about what you're doing at USC, and specifically about how virtualization is playing that role. Okay, we, um Started out about a little over a year ago with the EMC NS120 um, as our uh, SANS, and when we went to that, we also virtualized the VMware, and that was our first phase was to get our tier one um, applications onto um, our NS120, so then that way we also could replicate it to um, our DR site, which was in Pennsylvania. One of the goals was to be up and running if we had a major disaster was to be up and running within seven days so um, the uh, EMC had a good solution for us to get our data syncing across and if there's a disaster we could just fail over into on um, Penn and we made an agreement with our sister school at the University of Pennsylvania where we um, they give us uh, space on their uh, data center and we give them space in our data center so the costs uh, basically, we each pick up each other's costs and it worked pretty good. So physical footprint yeah. for some servers and then you use that to virtualize back and forth yeah. the DR as a recovery? Yes, and we used, um, we're leveraging the internet where we put a VPN tunnel between the two sites and we haven't done like a lot of people do dedicated connections. Our solution was leveraging the internet because at the universities you have the high bandwidth so we're able to save all the money on a monthly recurring cost. We didn't, occur, we didn't have to deal with that. So we're um, basically going out to the internet and through the VPN tunnel, we're um, able to sync it. And we get about a T1 connection between the two schools. Did you ever put on the table or consider doing a DR to the cloud? Um, not, no, we haven't thought about that. No, that wasn't an option? Not that time. And so no. it didn't even come up in the discussions? No. And, and, and do you think, now when was this? How, how a year long? ago. A year ago, okay, so a year later? It was what about it, a year and a if, half that we started talking about it. Um, so if you had to do it today, you think it would come up in the discussions or still no? I think some of it would. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the stuff that um, we heard uh, yesterday at the main session is actually all the stuff now that we're getting hit with, single login, with all these devices. Being at a university, you have a lot of people with iPads, a lot of people with iPhones, uh, Androids. Uh, they want to get to their data. Um, that's all becoming, for us, is, that's real life. Every day we have to deal with that. So you're living so, the consumerization of IT. Yeah. I mean, and every uh, semester, students come in, you know, after they graduate, the parents buy them. Bring your own PC to school. Laptops, and, yeah, they're buying them all that stuff, and we have to deal with that as they come onto campus. So, um, Do you guys standardize on, on um, equipment at the age? I mean, a lot of schools back in the range, back on the you know, PCs were, yeah, we talk about being bloated, you know, standardized on you know, configurations. Do you guys do that, or do you say bring your own, no problem? On the students, we uh, recommend that they bring um, because again, we're a journalism school too, and um, we do a lot of editing, film editing. So the Final Cut, um, and we try to push the, uh, we, the Apple solution because it works better with um, with Final Cut and also the editing. And it's easier to tell them to buy one machine, you know, the Apple because they have less options compared to when you start getting on the Windows side. There's more yeah. opens up tons it's of situations. Shop, yeah, it's hard. How do you back all this stuff up? We used Albemarle, and prior to that, um, 
our solution, I won't mention the company unless you want to hear them. But yeah, why not? I mean, why not? Um, I, mean, it's, I mean, we don't have to trash them, but I mean, okay. every, you know, everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah. what, 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 where were you beforehand? I mean, I, we okay, don't. We're using you know, like, Symantec uh, backup of Zach. Yeah, okay. And we're a lot of, lot, of, lot, of, lot of companies do, right? Yeah. Big, 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 big install base, you know, good but product. We're running a lot of problems, and I network administrator is probably spending easily two days of just making sure the backups are working and constantly uh, fixing problems. And we threw a lot of hardware at it. We had multiple tape units to make sure we could back up within our time period. We also bought a lot of NAS to also speed it up where we go to the NAS and then off, you know, later in the day we back up to tape. So we were trying to get it and it took us a long, we spent a lot of time. Kind of brute forcing it. Yeah. yeah, so it wasn't really working. And when we went to Albemar, we actually cut down our backup time by um, basically it's a 78% cut in backup time. So now it leads, for us, it opens up a huge amount of window now we can back up stuff and as we expand our, virtu our servers, virtual servers, we don't have to worry about the windows, we're gonna do this, how are we gonna make all this work? And also it's a great solution for us with our DR site because the way Avamar works, it's source based. Um, so it does everything at the server, then it just ch it brings across in the bandwidth you're using is just the changes, the dedupe, uh, compared to other ones that if you send the whole stuff over, all your data over to the pen, um, that might become a problem for us because of our... How, so big, how big is the data? I mean, journalism is obviously doing film stuff, right? So you got big files and we're downloading, you know, here we've been programming all day with video. Uh, and on demand. We ran out of storage at EMC World. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we that was pretty ironic. EMC drive, we didn't have them. <laughs> but yeah, we haven't gotten to the point where we're throwing tons of video on it yet. So the amount of data right now at this time isn't huge. But um, we have our, uh, our units is uh, 16 terabyte. Um, the NS120 is 16 terabytes at this space. Um, I think we have probably about about 30% of that full. But um, going forward, what we're looking at doing, it, we've seen that really scaling um, really big. And, and one of the things with Albemarle we liked about it was it's a very easy solution to scale. You just add more notes. We didn't have to worry about um, all the other stuff. You just add the notes and it gets, uh, you could just buy the licenses and keep going. Um, plus, the other good thing about Albemarle too we liked was the agents. You, you had all the agents there. You didn't have to um, go and try, you know, buy agents every time you bought something up. If it's a different server, you had to go buy a different agent. With that, when you get the Alvamar unit and the licenses, you get all the agents with it. So as they say, backup is one thing, recovery is everything. Have you had to do uh, recovery? Um, no, so far we haven't done it, but we do tests all the time, uh -huh. and it's very quick and easy to do. The re restores are very, very simple. So um, that part of it, so far, knock on wood, we've been, we didn't have to use it, but. So it's interesting, it's so, so for folks who don't know, Avamar uh, does data deduplication at the source, right? yeah. Bef be and, and so in an, in an IO intensive environment like virtualization, it really helps a lot, helps you meet your backup windows, and it's a, gr it's a great product. It's almost like perfectly tailored to, to virtualization, but you had to do a rip and replace of your Symantec to get there, right? And yeah. it sounds like it was worth it for you. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And what we do too is, the other thing too is um, one of our solutions as we go look at each IT solution, we're trying to be green. So it was really good that we're able to uh, go tapeless. By going to Albemarle, you go tapeless. So we don't have to keep tapes. And what it does basically, um, we keep four weeks, then we keep a month, then we do three months, and then uh, yearly, and we keep the yearly for eight years. So Eight years? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So then all that's done on the hard drive, so we don't have to worry about storing tapes and, and keeping a unit, you know, X years, the end it'll read that tape um, off the tape drives. You know, we have to, that's all gone. And also by having the second unit in pen, it, it allows us even another backup beyond what we have now. So you're actually a, a big organization with a relatively small implementation that's going to grow like crazy. Yeah. Right, so for our, for our users out there that are maybe smaller in size, what, what kind of advice would you give them if they're contemplating you know, virtualization and, 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 and backup? What would, you, what would you share with them for advice? Well, I think um, Albemar is a really good solution, especially if you're trying to back up sites that, and replicate it to another site, or if you have another site like a satellite office, it's a great solution to back up there. Uh, in, 
our experience has been really a no-brainer all the way through. It's really been perfect. We don't have to worry about backups anymore because your backup is really something you you want it to work and be there and not really worry about it. You want to worry about all the other stuff you need to worry about, like what's the next device that you have to support. Great. We're talking about uh, backup and virtualization with USC and a great case study. Frank, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. We really appreciate it. Fight on. Yeah. All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> any uh, any uh, comment on the whole Pac-10 football thing? Yeah, what, any uh, predictions? What's the, what's the vibe down there? It's got to be bummed out. I well, mean, we, uh, is, yeah, yeah we, <laughs> we start our first game, uh, it's tomorrow, um, against Hawaii. And I think you're going to see a lot of exciting stuff uh, at the game and then going forward. And I predict we're going to be in actually the top five. All right. Hey, Good luck. Thank you. Thanks very much. Take care. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back. We have another panel coming up very uh, uh, shortly. We'll take a short break and we'll just reset and come right back. Two minutes.